Hi guys. Welcome, welcome everyone. Hi, I'm gonna give everyone a couple minutes to join and this is what we're doing today. And then we're going to start. So just make sure you have all that we need for today. And first of all, that's going to be our bottle, of course, very important. You don't wanna um, not have that. So make sure you have that. And I'm going to bring my second bottle that I will actually be painting. So this is my bottle that I'll be painting. You're gonna need some water. So I have some painting water here, as you can see. So grab that. Um, after that, you're gonna need a couple of different brushes here. So I'll bring mine. I'm gonna be using medium and small brush. Alternatively, you can grab a large one too for the splatter, but you don't really need it. It's good to have though, so we'll grab that. I will be using just regular acrylic paint, so I'm gonna grab that as well. You guys can use either multi-surface paint or acrylic paint, whatever you would like. And you need a piece of paper towel. Very important. What else, what else, what else? All right, and guys, feel free to say hi if you're here and tuned in and ready to go. And we'll start in one little short second when we have everyone join us. So I have my paints here. I brought them here. All right. Ah, it is pretty cute. I agree with that. Ready, yes, awesome. So make sure you have um, all your paints. That's pretty much all I think that we need for today. All right, guys, welcome everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Vera. I'll be your instructor for today. And this is what we are painting. And I know it's kind of weird because usually you can see my face, but today just my hands and the bottle. I thought this would be a better view for you guys versus seeing uh, my face. So, here's our snowman. Let's take a closer look at him. He is a handsome dude here. So he's very chub, which is perfect for a snowman. They are supposed to be this way. He's like three circles, uh, small circle, bigger circle, bigger circle. There's some snow on the bottom. Uh, he has hands and he has a carrot, head, a carrot nose, which is again, very important for snowman to have a carrot nose. Uh, he has a scarf, which is great, and there are lots of snowflakes flying around. And guys, the best part, you can decorate your snowman however you want. If you want to give him different scarf or more accessories such as hat, mittens, uh, boots, I don't know, anything you can think of, you're absolutely free to add to the snowman. Um, now, for those of you who are wondering, maybe this is your first time painting with us, the video will stay up on our Facebook page and we'll also upload it on YouTube. So you can watch it either here or there after event. We are not deleting it. It's going to stay for a while on Facebook and on YouTube pretty much forever. So if you can't do it today, that's not a problem. You can always do it some other day. It will remain up here. So that's pretty much was inspection of snowman. snowman. What colors are we using here? So I will be using primary colors only. As you can see, I have white, red, uh, yellow, blue, and black. I'll be mixing them into all shades of this. And here I have a little bit of blue. I have a little bit of uh, purple. I have some red, white, orange, 
and the gray and that's pretty much it i'm not using any green for example but of course you guys are free to use any colors that make you happy and i'm using acrylic paint so just regular the same paint that we use for acrylic paintings but if you would like you can use multi-surface paint i um don't request everyone to buy multi-surface paint for it just because the, it's very niche paint you will only be using it on um glass and metal for example you wouldn't be using it on a canvas it's pretty expensive too so if you just have good good quality acrylic paint that would be more than enough if not if you want to go fancy that's okay you can go with multi-surface paint they're pretty much the same consistency so the technique would be the same either way and we're gonna need our clean bottle for me i have this one as you can see it's not the exact same color but it doesn't matter for this painting, I would say it's probably a little better if you have a darker bottle versus lighter bottle, but the color of bottle doesn't matter. And if you want to do it on a light bottle, who I am to say not to do it. You are allowed to do it on clear bottle if you would like. It's just it's going to be a bit more contrast if you do it on a dark bottle, as you can see, because we're painting our snowmen mostly in white. So, but either one is fine. Whatever works for you. All right. How are we going to do it? There are going to be a couple different layers here. We're going to start by sketching our snowman, and then we're going to add a first layer of white. Because, again, for us to have it very bright and non-transparent, we're going to need to have a couple different layers on everything. So we're going to start with the first layer of white, and then as we go, we're going to add more and more layers. The brushes that you're going to need, I have three brushes here. Most of it is going to be done with this brush, with a small one, because you can see there are a lot of small details here. This one is very useful to have as well because you can fill those larger areas with it uh, instead of spending hours and hours trying to fill it properly with a small one. And large one, the only thing you can technically do with it is splatter. You're not going to need large one for anything else for this. And you can splatter with this one too, it doesn't matter. So this one is very optional, the big one. All right, so guys, what are we going to start with here? Yes, we're going to start with sketching our snowman. So I'm going to put my two bottles side by side for now. And I'm going to grab a little bit of white paint. Put my paint on the side. So I dip my brush in the water. I'm going to take straight white, not mixed with anything. And I'm going to start by deciding where the head of my snowman is going to be. I think this is a good place. And I'm going to put a circle there. Just nothing special, a regular circle, absolutely nothing special about it. And right away, I'm going to not even wash this one. I'm going to put it aside and I'll grab a um, medium brush here. I'll fill it with white and I'll fill my snowman head, head with white. And guys, if you're just joining us now, you can scroll to the beginning of this video and start watching from actual beginning. Or you can uh, rewind to, to see certain sections again. That's totally fine. All right. Now, I'm going to add the second layer, so the bigger one. So again, I'm going to put a circle and you see, I'm not starting right underneath. I'm starting so they cross a little. That's what you want. You want them cross a little. And again, once you have it, put your brush aside, grab your medium brush and fill it in with white paint. Now I have two elements here. 
And I'm gonna move on to my third one. And I'll do the exact same thing. I'm gonna grab my small brush. I'm gonna add that last circle. Again, don't add on the bottom. You need them to overlap. And then I'm gonna grab my medium brush and I'm gonna fill him in. I have three tiers of our awesome snowman. I'm gonna give you guys a second to do that. And when you're ready, let me know in chat, say good to go, thumbs up, and so on. And then we'll move to our next step. And make sure you wash your brushes in between. So I'm gonna wash my brush and I'll actually put one here. Sometimes it helps to keep it in place. Yes, good. I'll give you guys a second to do that. Let me know when you guys have it. How's it going, everyone? Do we have it or not yet? Do we need a couple more minutes? Please update me, guys. Let me know where we at. Ready. I see first ready. That's great. Yes, good idea. I put a brush here from, for, uh, to stop it from moving, but anything. If you put anything underneath here a little, it kind of... Uh, keeps it in place. All right, I see lots of thumbs ups. That's great, guys. Now we're gonna let it all dry up for a little bit. And while that's drying, we are going to um, add our bottom. So we don't have our bottom yet, so we're gonna do that. Again, I'm now I'm gonna just go with my medium brush. And for this bottle, I would suggest that you do, let's say one side first and second side later, unless you wanna do all the way around. But in that case, you're gonna need to hold it like this. You're not gonna be able to put it down to rest. You're gonna need to constantly hold it, which is a little bit harder, but it's up to you. If you wanna do all the way around, go for it. If you wanna do just uh, the front side first, and then once it dries, do second side, that's up to you. You can do that too. So we're gonna do the bottom. I'm gonna color this white and add some snow around like this. If you're doing half, you're just gonna stop here. If you're doing all the way, you can continue going all the way here. And you see, I'm not going right to the uh, bottom of snowman. I'm leaving just a little line here for me to know where my snowman ends and where my snow begins. So this is what it looks like for me right now. If you want to, as I mentioned earlier, you can continue going further and add a little more snow here. Or you just completely wait until you do first side 
and then go on a second side and you can do a snowman here too you don't have to just have it empty but for that just wait until the side dries first do it two until here so halfway through and only then you can do uh, the back And again, we're gonna let our first layer that we just added now dry up a little bit. It's weird how we have to pretty much wait uh, for every single layer to dry up, but that's what it is. If we wanna have a nice, beautiful coverage with white and no streak visible, you're gonna need to wait for it to dry up. layer on our uh, nose and on our hands so I'm gonna grab a small brush for my nose here and I'm going to mix my orange how I'm going to mix my orange is I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow scoop it on the side I'm gonna grab a little bit of red less than yellow put it in and the most important thing I'm gonna add some white to it because um, usually acrylic studio red acrylic is semi-transparent so if you don't add white and you lay it over your bottle you're not going to see it very bright it's going to be like a layer of transparent orange so it's not going to be bright or vibrant so it's very important that you add some white to it yes hair dryer hair dryer ha really helps here if you want to have one nearby but if not that's okay too totally up to you guys uh, for those who missed what paint we're using, I'm using student grade acrylic, so pretty much the same paint as we usually use. But you're free to use multi-surface paint if you feel like that's what you would rather use. But student grade acrylic, just regular acrylic that we use always, is more than enough as well. And I'm going to add my carrot nose right here. Shelly, I'm not sure why you seem frozen screen because I am watching myself on actual separate device to see the comments since I'm filming with my phone right here and I can see myself fine. It's not frozen from different devices. Now to answer your question, if um, you're using premix orange, should you add white or not? That is completely up to you. I would say if... Um, your orange, if you start putting it on and you feel like it looks transparent, add a little bit of white. It depends on which brand you use. Some brands will already have white pre-mixed into it and some brands would have a transparent. So if you start adding it and you notice that it goes a little bit more transparent than what you want, then remix it and just add a little bit of white and go over it again. But you might be okay right away. Usually a lot of brands that have pre-mixed colors will have white pre-mixed into them. But again, it wouldn't hurt to add it either. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Now, still gonna give them a couple more minutes to dry up. And as it's drying up, we are going to add white hands. So I'm gonna wash my brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white paint on the brush and I'm gonna put two uh, lines on the side. So from here up, gonna be my first one and then from that line right away I'm gonna put two smaller lines and try to use just the very tip of your brush so they don't turn up uh, too thick so that's one hand and I'm gonna do another one on the other side
So here are two hands for a snowman. If you want to do different kind of hands, that's okay too. You don't have to just do the hands exactly the same way that I'm doing them. But also, if you want to, it's totally fine. And once you guys have it, give me thumbs up, let me know that you are ready and good to go. And I will show you what we can do next here. Uh, Kim, to answer your question, would this work with clear bottle? As I explained earlier in the video, it would, but also it's not going to be as contrast. So do you see how here we have darker bottle? And because we're doing white snowman, it's very contrast. So you're going to see your snowman well. And you're going to see the snowflakes really well on the background. However, if you use a clear bottle, you're not going to have it as visible or contrast or bright because you're going to have it all on a transparent background. So yes, it doesn't mean you can't do it. Absolutely, you can. It's just not going to be, uh, it's going to look very different. Sorry guys, I'm not sure why it's hard for you to hear me. My mouth is literally right by my phone right here. My face is like right here on this level. All right, once I hear, once I see a couple of people saying good to go, I'm going to show you what is coming next. But no rush guys, take your time. If you need a bit more time, that's okay too. Ready, yes. Great, I'm glad to hear that. Good to go, amazing. All right, so now let me show you this bottle. Do you see how there is a piece of scarf here on the side that uh, goes into the background so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna add the backdrop for this piece of scarf and we're gonna do it in white again just, just for us to see the better later on so how we're we going to do it from here out with a small brush we can add a piece like that i'm just gonna color it in with white that is a backdrop for our scarf One piece of scarf is going to be going here and second one going there and also we're going to add one more backdrop for the scarf right here so let me show you on this one i'll actually put this one aside for now do you see how here there are sides in a scarf too that are, go, are going up so we're going to need to add that because right now we have circle circle and the spaces are empty so we're going to need to add a bit of a backdrop for the scarf there too and again just so our scarf is a bit more visible and bright in the end going to do it we're going to add a piece right here and a piece right here so that would be our scarf here awesome yes my paint dries really quickly too Alright guys, after that we can move on to our second layer. So I'm going to grab my medium brush and white paint again. And on all my snowman circles, I'm going to add second layer of white paint. And you'll see they will start getting much, much brighter. We're now going to be adding more than two layers. So now this one should do the trick for us. 
And you see the difference, right, between this and that dramatic. Huge, huge difference. And then if you want it to right away, you can add second layer onto this bottom part. And again, you can do just the front and sides, or you can do all the way around, depending whether um, you want to hold your bottle the whole time or you want to be able to lay it down. If you want to be able to lay it down, do just the front and the sides, maybe. Um, and if you want to do... all around you might need to hold it the whole time which is okay too but also you can do the back later and actually add a snowman there because this video is going to stay up what you could do you could just do one side now and don't even bother doing what i'm doing here on the back and then actually finish and it dries up you can turn it around and do the other side and add a snowman there too so totally up to you guys all right so johnny you're right this is actually a new thing to facebook because i'm looking at my other device too and unfortunately i cannot reverse the video either which is funny because that is not this is a new feature facebook always we've been hosting facebook lives for a while now and facebook always had a feature where you can scroll rewind video to the beginning start watching from the beginning no matter where at what point you join but clearly doesn't allow it now, which is crazy and confusing at the same time. But yes, absolutely. Once video is fully complete, it's going to be posted. So you can watch it just like any other video when you can pause it, rewind and so on. But yes, Facebook used to have the option where you can rewind it even while it's live. So it's really weird that they got rid of that. I am not 100% sure why. All right, so I have my whole snowman is covered with white. Oops. Show you this one too. That's where we're going, that's where we're at. And now we're going to start adding a color. Actually, before we start adding color, we're going to add a second layer onto our um, scarf pieces too. So I'm going to grab my small brush. Now add second layer on my scarf pieces. If you want to add second layer onto your hands, you can, but also you don't have to. They might have already enough white paint because they're such a small element. But they should be okay as is, but if you really want to, you can add second layer on them. It wouldn't hurt either. And once you guys have it, give me a thumbs up and we'll move to next step. snowman right here. 
ready. Yes, awesome. I see some ready. That's great. Great, great, great. I'm glad to hear that, guys. All right, if you are ready, then we're going to move forward. And the next thing we're going to do here is we start, we'll start adding those blues here. And you can do it with a medium brush or the small brush, it's totally up to you. I think I'm gonna start with a medium brush here. And I'm going to make light blue. So I'm gonna take white, scoop it on the side. And then to that white, add just a tiny touch of blue and make fairly light blue. So you don't wanna go too dark here. Do you see how light I'm doing this? That's what you wanna do, you wanna go light. Now on this bottle right here, I'm gonna so I'm gonna skip the top part. I'm not adding any blue to the top part. I'm gonna start from the bottom. Do you see this bottom middle part? I'm gonna add a couple of brush strokes. I'm gonna start with a medium brush here because it's very light blue, so we can have a bit more of that. You see what I just did? I added a little bit of blue here, and I will do the same thing on the bottom. So with the same very light blue. I'm going to go right here on the lower half of our bottom pair. And what I'm going to do, you see I'm adding it in a motion mimicking the shape of the ball, the snowman bottom. So don't just do horizontal lines, do uh, lines following that follow the shape of your snowman. That's very important. And go with light blue. We're gonna add darker blue later on. This one needs to be quite light. And then I'll do the same thing on the bottom. So right from the bottom, I'm gonna add a little bit of this light blue. Again, you can do half or you can do all the way around. Top one, don't touch that one. And after that, I'm going to wash off and put aside my medium brush. Guys, if you're just joining us right now, it is a regular acrylic paint and there is absolutely no special prep. Just make sure your bottle is clean. That's all it is. All right, now we're gonna move on to, let's add second layer of orange. So I'm gonna grab my orange here and add a second layer on my nose. And then right away, as soon as I have that, without even washing my brush, I'm just gonna take a little bit of white and I'm gonna add a little bit of white on the left side here. And I wanna do it on wet because I want it to blend. See, it's now a little lighter on the left here. Do you need to seal it after to keep from scraping off? Not necessarily. So this one is, you see, it's, it's student grade acrylic. It's not sealed, but it's very hard to scrape. It really depends on a brand of acrylic you use. Some acrylics you might be able to scrape off easier. Some acrylics you might be um, 
harder to scrape off so it's really up to you you need to try it and see do you bake it in the oven to seal not acrylic if you're using acrylic paint no do not bake it in an oven to seal it's not going to work and if anything it actually make it worse it can potentially ruin your image but if you were using um what's the name of it multi-surface paint if you were using multi-surface paint then yes bake it in the oven to seal it so again multi-surface paint yes it is better in a way that it's a more scratch resistant it's you can wash it it's not going to damage it with acrylic you can't do that it's better not to scratch it and you definitely cannot wash it like it will survive a drip of water but you cannot specifically wash it but multi-surface paint is actually more expensive too so if you don't mind buying special paint for just this project go with multi-surface it will last you longer if you just want to have fun with it and if it lasts you a year or two you're okay with that if it's not gonna last you a long uh, lifetime then go with acrylic and again the video is gonna stay up so you can always redo it with different kind of paint as well all right so I'm gonna move on to my um, darker blue so to this lighter blue that I used before I still have some I'm gonna add a little bit more blue to make it slightly darker you don't want to go with the darkest blue but you want to go a little darker and I'm actually gonna water it down a little bit now I'm gonna go right here on a bottom part and I'm gonna start adding little brush strokes like this following the shape of my snowman from the very bottom up you want it to look very dark like well much darker on the bottom and then get lighter lighter as you go up so as you go up with your brush strokes add smaller brush strokes and less of them and I will do the exact same thing on the bottom part here as well right we are getting there this looks nice and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the same color on the bottom here so that's uh, pretty much it for this color soon we're gonna move to our next color to answer your question if there is something that you can seal it with absolutely um, you can go to any local art store and you can ask them what varnish they have sometimes they would have varnish that is a brush on varnish like liquid varnish sometimes they would have spray varnish but actually what I sealed this one with which this one is sealed um, there is a substance I bought it in Michaels it's like a little a little tube like that and it's like a glue mixed with glitter, but it's specifically made for uh, decorative elements, probably such as that. And as you can see, there's a glitter here. Do you see there are large chunks of glitter? Um, 
So it was special. It was like this special substance. It's actually sold in the same place where you buy a multi-surface paint. Mod Podge, I would not recommend. 100% no. You can try a little piece of Mod Podge on the back if you want to see if it dries clear. My concern with Mod Podge would be that it wouldn't dry clear enough. I know it dries semi-clear, but I'm not sure if it dries clear enough for the clear bottle. I sealed um, background with it, but I use it for glitter. If you seal the whole thing with a glitter, that would look great too. I sealed the entire bottom with glitter. But again, I didn't buy that thing for sealing. I bought it for glitter. And I discovered that it will work as a seal um, only after I added it. Because you see it dries super clear, even though it looks really white when you put it on. But yes, absolutely. They have a clear coat spray in every store. And they are not expensive. Like the ones that I usually use from Curry's are around $10 mark. And they will last you forever. It's not just a one-time use that you spray and it's all gone for one bottle. You can probably seal at least um, 10 paintings with it. Or maybe even more, depending how big your paintings are, before it runs out. So it's, it's not expensive. All right, guys. I'm going to move on to my scarf here. So I'm going to start adding um, details on my scarf. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to take a red paint. And I'm going to add this chunk first. How I'm going to do it. So do you remember that line here? I'm going to start adding lines one by one going in this direction. And then I'm going to add a second uh, piece of scarf. It's going to be this one. Do you remember the back one? So I'm going to do the same thing. So now lines are going to be in this direction. And now you don't overlap the body of a snowman or the hand. You avoid those. finish by doing the front um, of the scarf. So I'm going to start on the left side now here and I'm going to do vertical lines. And do not overlap this one. Go right up to it but don't overlap it. Yes, Susanna, that is a really good tip, guys. I 100% second that. Make sure your paint is absolutely dry before um, you add any kind of varnish or seal before, before you finalize it. It has to be fully dry, it, not just to touch. I would actually leave it for a day or two for it to fully, fully, fully dry and cure before you seal it. And 
after this, we're gonna move to our next color, which is going to be purple here. So do you remember that blue that we used here? To the same blue, I'm gonna add a bit more uh, darker blue, actually, just a touch more to darken it up. And then I'm gonna start adding red, little by little, until they rise as a nice purple color, which happens right away. Great. And with this, I'm going to add a couple more brush strokes on the bottoms here. Actually, I'm going to go even darker than this. This seems pretty light to me. To darken it up, do not add any black. Just add a little bit more uh, red and blue. And that will darken it up for you. So do you see just a few, not as many as with our blues. How does this, how dark does the purple have to be? Totally up to you. Do you see as long as it's darker than your blues, it's good. It doesn't have to be crazy dark. Just make sure it's darker than your um, blue you used previously. Morning, Joe. And I'll add a little bit of this color on the bottom too. So the same way that we've done with blue. If you have premixed purple and it's a little dark, you can just add a little bit of white to it. It should fix the problem for you. Dina, so apparently Facebook got rid of that option where you can start video from the beginning. So unfortunately, you will have to wait until it's fully done to start it from the beginning. But once it is fully finished, it will stay here and will give you ability to start it from the beginning but it will have to be after we finish the live session. Unfortunately, sorry about that. They had a feature before where you could start it from the beginning. I don't know why they got rid of it. All right, guys, and after that, we can move on to our black. So I'm gonna grab a small brush, a little bit of black, and we're gonna start adding it. So the very first place I'm going to add it is a little bit around nose, but you have to do a really, really fine line, as fine as you can get it here. So I'm going to add it on the right side and the bottom. I'm not adding it all the way around. So in my case, my snowman is going up, so that's why you don't see the eyes. So I'm just going to add a mouth made from all dots. The dot in the middle is going to be the biggest, and then as I go to the sides, they're going to get smaller, smaller, and smaller. And as you can see, a little bit upright, they go up. Guys, actually, the videos stay on our Facebook much longer than a week. Um, they stay minimum a month. 
minimum a month. And then remove them to YouTube where they stay pretty much forever. Then I'm going to add a little outline to the face. So just, again, as fine as you can get it. And a little outline on my scarf. Couple of down here. And I'm going to continue with it here. Can you use chalk paint? I'm not 100% sure. I've never tried chalk paint on a glass. So I would say try a little smidge first. Let it dry and see how good it stays on. If it doesn't uh, scrape off or like erase if you rub it, then yes, probably you could. I don't see why not. But I wouldn't commit to it until I try a little smidge first, just to be sure. I know it's not going to rub off. Joe, that's funny, and it is harder than it looks. I 100% agree with you on that. All right, now I'm gonna add the buttons. The button's gonna go right in the middle. In my case, it's covered by um, the scarf piece, so you're not gonna see many of them, but you will still see a couple. A couple is better than nothing. I'm going to go down and I will add a couple of buttons going down too. start adding black a little bit on the outline of my uh, bottom circle here. And then, actually, I'm going to take a little bit of black, a little bit of white, mix them up, make like a gray color. And with this gray color, I am going to add a couple of brush strokes underneath here to darken it up, to make it look like a shadow. And then I'm going to dab off my brush. Do you see I'm getting rid of extra paint? And with just a dry, clean brush, I'm going to smudge it a little bit, blend it a little more. A slightly wet brush is fine too. Make sure it doesn't have paint on it. 
And you can uh, blend this a little. There we go. guys after we have that we can move on to our highlights and decorations so i'm going to go back to my white paint here i'm going to wash off my small brush and i'll take a little bit of white paint and there are a couple of things you can do with it it's not necessary it's optional but i'll give you a choice to do it or not to do it so one of them is i'm going to add a little of dots in white make sure you use just the very tip of your brush to have them small on my nose you see just a couple of dots in white here and also you can add a couple of flicks onto your scarf either horizontal or a vertical totally up to you just to have it a bit lighter more interesting just to add a bit more detail to it. This is in my case just like a light reflection. If you don't want to edit that's okay. You don't have to. It's very optional. And after we're going to add snowflakes and dots on a background, I'm going to start with large snowflakes. So how I usually do my snowflakes is I'm going to put a dot first. Out of the dot, I'm going to put a line up and a line down. And line left and line right. So that's the base, then lines in between. Line, 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 all starting from the middle. So that's like the base of our snowflakes. You can stop here and you can make a whole bunch of those, some bigger, some smaller, or you can decorate them. And how you decorate them, you put some element either on every one of those lines or on every second one. So for example, on every second one, it would look like that. You see, I put a dot on every second one, and I'm going to put a little crisscross on every second one as well. You see, that's on every second one. And now I can maybe add another dot on every single one. as long as you do decorate either every single one or every second one, you will get a beautiful and unique design depending on what kind of elements you add there. You can add as many of them as you want. Or you can decorate every single snowflake different. They don't have to be the same. A bit cleaner one thing. Just dots. That looks pretty good. There we go. So I have three big ones here right now. Um, you can have way more than that. I'm going to add a couple smaller ones. Pretty much in the same technique, just they're going to be smaller and undecorated. And then I'm going to add a whole bunch of dots. 
and again you can do all the way around the bottle or you can do just the front totally up to you you can do the front for now and all the way around later on once the front dries fully so you can switch the grip with your hand And then I'm gonna add dots and I'll add them pretty much everywhere. Some bigger, some smaller. For bigger ones, just grab a bit more paint on your brush and um, just push a little bit harder on your brush. For smaller ones, grab less paint and use just the very tip of your brush. And I'm gonna go on my actual snowman too, and I will add a couple of those dots on my snowman. Ta-da! And here is our beautiful snowman. And of course, you can add more of those snowflakes, more of the dots, if you wanted to. I'm not going to be doing it, but I want to give you an option. You could splatter. So let me show you how that would look like. I'm going to fix this one here quickly. And what you could do, you could just fill one of the bigger brushes with white paint, medium or large, and do this. That will give you some splatter here too. So. Um, that's an option, doesn't mean you have to do it, but it's an option. It's something you can do if you want to have more of like a smaller um, firework looking splatter slash snowflakes. So you could do that as well. And another option I would actually highly recommend for this, because I did it on this one and I love the look of it, is glitter glue. So you can buy probably just the simple glitter glue and add it, you know, the cheapest one um, and just seal the background with it. Um, I don't know how well it will do as a sealant, but it will get a little bit of glitter on uh, empty parts of your bottle, which is a cool look. Or you can buy the one that I had. Again, I bought it at Michael's in the area where they sell multi-surface paint. And it literally just looks like that and it has glitter on it you will see it you wouldn't miss it anything that you can think of um yeah a little bit of glitter here would work really really well it's gonna look great yeah this one that i used to do was in multi-surface paint department so it's made for um acrylic and glass sorry wood and glass and metal and whatever else you want to paint on it's not specifically for canvas it's for pretty much anything you can paint on so feel free to cover the bottle with a glitter. Let me show you this one again. Do you see? There's a glitter everywhere. And I love the look of it. And unfortunately, I don't know where I put that one. I had it at some point and I lost it and now I can find it. But if you go to any store, arts and crafts store, just ask them if they have something similar and people who work there will um, 
suggest based on the selection that they have what will work best for your project. But yes, those things are available and inexpensive in case you wanted to do that. But I'm pretty sure, I haven't tried, but I'm pretty sure just the regular glitter glue that you can buy in almost any dollar store will work too. I don't know how well it will hold on a bottle, but it will dry clear, which is good. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. If you want to add um, some fairy lights in your bottles, go for it. That will look super cool too. That's another option for you guys to do. Another thing you could do, you can buy in dollar store those little gemstones. You know how they have these tiny little gemstones that you can just stick on the sticker gemstones? You can grab that too. Glitter hairspray. That's a great idea, Carol. Absolutely. Glitter hairspray. You guys are full of great ideas. Yes, that will work really well to you. I think that will look super cool. Um, if you want to put a bow on top of your bottle, go for it. Whatever you can think of, you can do it with it. And the video will stay up on our Facebook page here. And later we will upload it to our YouTube as well. So if you want to make one of those as a gift for someone, the video will stay up here. Just saying, for a last minute gift, this is a good idea. Yay, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yes, yeah, so you can totally do this on a canvas, absolutely. That's great. Clear jars can put colored water inside. That's a great idea too. And you can do this as, not just as a bottle, you can do it as a candle holder, um, as, um, you know, those places where the, oh, I'm forgetting the word. You know, the outdoorsy things, lantern, that's the word I was looking for. You can do a lantern in this design. You can make a candle holder in this design. Anything glass really that you can put something inside, you can do it on and it will look great. Yes, string lights inside, the fairy light with a cork. They sell them on Amazon and actually in dollar stores too. Yay. That's right. Save the bottles, all of them. And if you don't drink wine, but you need a bottle, what you could do if you have local restaurants that are still open and operating, you can just ask them. They usually have uh, bottles of wine that they will be able to give it to you for free just in case you need some and if you completely don't drink wine all right guys thank you all for joining me i hope you had lots of fun i sure did i had lots of fun teaching you i love doing this kind of stuff yes and feel free to check out all our upcoming events if you go on to facebook and click on events page you will see all the lots of events that we have coming up we have lots of free ones and we have lots of zoom ones and zoom ones are super cool too because you can actually uh, show us your progress in real life if you choose to do so so yes feel free to check out and see what we're coming up next thank you for joining me and i hope you have the rest a uh, great rest of your day guys